Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, right? Well, heavyweights, you know, heavyweights again, man. It is cool because, you know, we had, you know, some good fights in the heavyweight division, right? You know, AJ and Ruiz, Deontay Wilder and Ortiz. That's four of the top six guys that we saw in action uh, recently, right? You know, only a few are left out of there, you know, you know but uh, other than that, you got Ortiz, Ruiz, you know, bad boys. Then, you know, Deontay Wilder and AJ. So we're leading up to the next big fight that we got going, right? Most people are kind of a little bit hyped about it. Me, at, not at all, but it is a big fight. Right, and that would be uh, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. It's supposed to be in February. Uh, it must be etched in stone because of things that just keep happening. Because for me, the fight ain't that important. It's not. Undisputed is what I would like to see, and you can get around and back to Tyson Fury. But I understand how Deontay Wilder is like, well, I couldn't get AJ all these times, so I'm trying to just fight, you know, this guy. And they say he all arguably beat me, so, you know, we can have a return fight. I'd rather see Undisputed first and then get back to that. But, okay, you know, you don't get what you want in boxing. You know what time it is. But, you know, some interesting news. AJ has uh, offered his sparring help to uh, to Tyson Fury. Help him out for Deontay Wilder, you know. Help him out for Deontay Wilder. He said, you know why? Because I think that Tyson Fury <laughs> would fight me quicker than Deontay Wilder. And that's a very important sentence right there because that's the one that only AJ fanatics would probably like to hear. I think anyone else who's been following this a little bit, it will be irked by that, that comment, right? That you're insinuating that, hey, Deontay Wilder didn't never want to fight me. I've been chasing him. You're insinuating. That's pretty good for the fact that you're going to get knocked out worse. But uh, I think that's going to be, that's not bad news. Listen, no one believes that anymore, and I think the fans are going to really uh, get on him about this one. I think, you know, he should, shouldn't go. He should be a little bit careful with the statements like that. Just go on and help Tyson Fury, because you know that's going to be, you know, people going to talk about that anyway. Let's be honest. You know, you're going to help Tyson Fury. Things that you don't hear in boxing, right? Would I would like to have AJ to, be, have to say it. We've talked about it. Hey, forget Fury. Fight me now for Undisputed. But you won't hear that. You know, and I'm going to tell you, it's just, it reminds me of everything else you don't hear. You don't hear Canelo saying, hey, let's fight um, Demetrius Andrade for Undisputed on S September 14th. You don't hear him mention Charlo, right? You hear Dillian White talking all the time. Do you ever hear Dillian White say, let me fight Ortiz now, like the WBC mandated me to do? And I said no to. Or Deontay Wilder said, please fight him, and you got me automatically, whatever. But you would hear everything else. And I want Wilder. I, you know, this and that. I've been waiting. Right? And you could have done it, but you won't say, hey, Ortiz, even right now, he's trying to fight Povetkin and other people, right? Knowing that Ortiz is still there, beating Ortiz and you're there. It's things that, you know, it's blatant for me. You know, all the language that's, that's there, you just don't hear certain sentences, right? And he could say, AJ, let's fight now. What are we talking about Tyson Fury? So he wants to go help Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury has accepted, hey, well, let's help. You know, you can come on in, fair play, good fight you had, because I think Tyson Fury... Uh, fight similar and understanding winning fights is more important than, than sitting down on your punches. And hey, I agree with the guys. You know, I agree with the guys. It just this applies to everybody in the boxing in the boxing community. It's like it's good when somebody, some people do, and it's not good when others do. That's where the issue starts. But other than that, if you're talking about winning the fight, however you are in that little old ring, and you winning the fight, and you if you stand out there and jab, jab, grabbing. Or staying on the outside, not being hit, being elusive. Hey, whatever. If you're outpointing the man, I don't like when you're being elusive and you're not, there's no offense. But if you're outpointing the man, he can't hit you back. I think that's awesome. So if that's, you know, good, two runners, because some people don't like it, and that's what they'll call them. Joshua's a runner now, and Fury's always been one. Huge guys, right? They're going to team up, you know, team up. <laughs> that's about, what is that, about 500 pounds right there? If not more, 500 and something pounds. Gonna team up against the 210 pound dude. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. So that's cool, you know, because it makes Deontay Wilder's legacy even better. You know what I mean? It makes it even better. So that's weird right now, but I can understand. And let's just focus on what I was saying. You know, Andy Joshua could easily be saying, hey, forget Fury. That's what, you, what the energy should be. Forget Fury, 
fight me now. That's not happening. He wants to help Fury get Wilder, and he says because Wilder or uh, Tyson Fury will fight him quicker. And I hate to use it again, but guys, that's bollocks, right? It's bollocks, and you guys know it. Let's make sure this is clear. Auntie Josh was talking about everybody except Wilder, right? You know, he's really, you know, he's talking, you know, like I'm gonna fight Randy Ruiz Jr. He get to Wilder whenever, right? Let's make sure this is clear. If you ain't got too much punch power you'll be in the Anthony Joshua sweepstakes. That's what's up. So it'll be Andy Ruiz Jr. He has punching power, but he don't think he gonna be. He can outpoint him from the outside now. That's what you do to him. But for Tyson Fury is a big fight. Like Anthony Joshua said, we all know it's a big fight in England. And it would be huge, too, if, if, if Fury did. Like Fury said, I'm, after I beat Wilder, I'll fight you, for, you know, right away. No problem. He made that clear. Right? So in England, that would be a huge dust-up. We know that. But you're going to have to get by past Wilder first. And I just think from when you're, when you're Anthony Joshua right now and people have seen you get knocked out and have seen you being hurt several times. And then you're looking at Deontay Wilder and you see these big old guys on the ground all the time. Right. People that don't know anything about boxing, they see the two guys and understand they're going to say, well, he doesn't want that to happen to him. Right. So I think that Joshua's narrative should be just simply, you know, Wilder now, not sometime down the road. People are not buying down the road. Or people, you know, you know, to go and help Tyson Fury, at least say Wilder now, right? Because everybody is acting like the Tyson Fury fight is so important. It's just another fight. It's not undisputed. It's not as important as that. And I personally think, and I'm going to keep saying it, everybody should have got out the way for undisputed. But like always, everybody's allergic to undisputed. No one's talking about it. We're talking about Tyson Fury before we're talking about Joshua right now. That's still what the answer should be from everybody. Well, wait a minute. Tyson Fury, forget training camp. You just cha change your trainers anyway and forget training camp. You know, you can stay in training camp. Let me go take care of Joshua and be undisputed when we, feed, when we fight. But that's not what's happening. So that was an interesting news, in my opinion. I think um, it's not really a good look unless you are really an Anthony Joshua fan. It's not really a good look to want to go help Tyson Fury against this adversary that's been after you for about three years. I don't think that's a good look, but I'm pretty sure Anthony Joshua fans will. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.